Joe Phantomaniacs, and welcome to the newest unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. It is day two of our Super 7 Ultimates Wave 3 review week. Today is the Cobra Trooper, and I gotta tell you, I sure hope this one turns out better than Doc did. Uh, if you did not watch my review of Doc yesterday, that one's going back to Big Bad for a replacement due to some... Uh, numerous small quality issues hopefully our cobra trooper is going to be in better shape uh, i love the packaging as i mentioned yesterday it has been uh cost reduced a bit it's not metallic anymore it doesn't have the raised surfaces but i don't care uh i still i think i still think it looks fantastic and i don't need all of that uh so Pretty stoked about the Cobra Trooper. Obviously, this is an essential part of any Sunbow G.I. Joe collection. Uh, on the back, we've got the nice Sunbow-inspired uh, graphics with actual images of the Troopers from the Sunbow cartoon. Uh, the pit data readout file card. And let's just open this thing up and take a look at it. Because now, uh, I, like I said, I just reviewed Doc. And now I'm really anxious to get through the rest of these figures and make sure there aren't more quality issues like there were with that one. Uh, the background in the box is, of course, the beautiful explosion that we associate with classic G.I. Joe stuff. And our trooper... Got a little device fell right out there, which I prefer that to it being taped in, obviously. Two trays for the plethora of accessories included. The Electro Whip. Oh, man, and it's... This is great. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Uh, I am not going to pull on that. I've learned my lesson. Oh. Oh, man, this is awesome. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, that far exceeded my expectations, I will say. I've got a little briefcase bomb here. We'll put that off to the side. And then tons of uh, options because we have... Two different skin tones on this trooper, making troop building uh, more fun. Super 7 has been really good about providing a variety of uh, skin tones in their various figures. I wouldn't have minded seeing uh, a brown in here, or I guess, uh, okay, wait, what are they? Pink, brown, and black? I don't think it's black. I'm trying to remember what the three different skin tones they were doing in uh, the reaction were called. Uh, but anyway, I wouldn't mind having a, a black trooper as well. And maybe they'll get around to it at some point. i got to think there are plans to re-release this particular figure probably many times. Oh, look at that rifle. Beautiful. Uh, and then finally, we've got our little plastic tabs here to snip through. If they're like the ones that were on dock, they are. These are loose. They're kind of just making sure the figure doesn't go anywhere. They're not actually snug up against the figure, potentially leaving stress marks or causing some kind of other warping damage or whatever. So I am okay with these plastic tabs in this instance. Sometimes these, design, these uh, Super 7 trays maybe are a little too snug. You wonder, you know, with it being that difficult to get the figure out of the tray, you got to wonder why those tabs are necessary at all. All right, let's take a look at the figure. And like I said, I sure hope this one uh, was produced better than Doc. So you can already see the suspender rig, the web gear, is attached to this piece and is separate from the torso so we don't have any articulation lines breaking up uh, that web gear which I think is a really nice design really well done does not interfere with the articulation of the torso at all 
Uh, you even have the waist turn that is under this rubbery belt part. Great looking angry portrait. Uh, articulation is exactly what we expect from Super 7. You got a bicep swivel, an elbow swivel. Um, slightly more than 90 degrees at the elbow. And then, of course, the wrists are your standard uh, execution side to side hinge. Look at this. I love it. Look at that seated position. That is great. Uh, you've got rotation up here at the hips. So far, this is going much better than uh, the doc review went. The blue, the color of the blue is just beautiful. It's a great royal, I, I would call it an animated blue. It's bright, it's vibrant, it's going to look great on the shelf. You can see the boots got a swivel at the top and then modern ankle articulation. Got the little pocket right on the, just the one little pocket on the front side there. Looks great. Uh, and then the Cobra emblem, nice and big on the chest. Uh, I would love for them to take another run at the Cobra Commander and give him a bigger Cobra emblem. Uh, he needs it. Helmet is the right shape. Looks good. Um, yeah. Very nice. So, huh. We'll take a look at that in a minute. I'm curious about how the heads swap out. Because if you look here... This, there's the seam. This is where the head swap. The seam is very, very clean. Looks good. It does. It is not uh, immediately noticeable as a a swappable point. Uh, so figure looks great. Oh, you know what? I didn't, I didn't do my zoom in. I'll do a I'll do a quick run back through with my zoom. I'm telling you guys, Doc threw me off. I, I was. I did not expect, look, with Super 7, I love them. They are my favorite toy company, but we all know that sometimes things just, you know, things happen. So I, I was so stoked about Doc and then so disappointed in the issues, but this Cobra Trooper is beautiful. But I think I prefer, we'll take a look at it now. I think I prefer the little bit darker skin tone. And it's, yeah, it looks like about the same sculpt. Just a different color skin tone. And it looks like, you get a little ball peg right here. So it looks like this should just pop right out. Oh, look at that. Okay, it does. Fantastic. Yeah, I like, oh, well... <laughs> Hopefully it's going to pop right back in. I might not have had it lined up quite right, because if you can see, you can tell where it should plug back in. Mm, this might be a little bit of a challenge here. Because once it's in there, you can't tell if it's lined up to go in the peg or not, and then getting the right, oh, oh, I think I got it. I mean, I think I've got it in the right place. I've just got to get the right amount of, mm. oh man, that will not go in. So can I get this one back in? Oh, that one just pops right back in. What is going on here? I was just talking about, I love Super 7, but sometimes, and it looks like we're having a sometimes here. Because I really do want this darker skin tone. That guy is not going to plug in. I don't, this one looks a little fatter, not really. 
Not enough to make that much of a difference. I wonder if I need to heat this up a little bit. My gosh, I'm so tired of heating stuff up. Uh, all right, hang on. All right, heated each end up for about 30 seconds, and... Oh, man, that... Oh, that did it. Okay. There he is. So, I heated the peg and the hole both up for about 30 seconds each, and it just popped right into place. So, all right, fine. Uh, I went... I went at least 35, maybe 40 years of my life without having to heat up action figures uh, and, and a collector that whole time. Uh, and now it's just a thing that we have to do. Oh, I guess I need to swap his hands out too, because that looks a little weird. Uh, he looks like he has the opposite problem of MJF. Oh, you could give him MJF hands. I, now I kind of want to, okay, after all that, I'm going to pop the other head back in. And uh, this guy is going to have MJF hands. If you don't know, if, you don't, if you're not familiar with the wrestler MJF and with AEW Wrestling, uh, MJF has this thing where he puts Tanner on his hands. I am convinced that he took it from, uh, what's his name? Sam Rockwell's Dustin Hammer. Justin, sorry, Justin Hammer from Iron Man 2. Uh, Rockwell has said on record that he intentionally put Tanner on his hands badly because it seemed like the kind of thing, like it seemed like what Justin Hammer would be. And if you watch that movie and you look closely, you can see his hands have like, unevenly applied tanner on him and mjf i'm convinced he stole that so now we're gonna have our guy here with uh tanner hands just as my quiet little joke that nobody that ever comes in here is ever going to notice uh all right so cool swapped out some parts let's take a look at the accessories uh, i've got full sets of pink hands you got fists for punching uh you've got an open grasping hand that I'm now seeing this is Doc's hand that I thought was for carrying his briefcase, but it's too big. So you've got two of those open grasping hands. You've got a couple of C-grips, or a C-grip. Uh, and then a couple of trigger finger hands with up and down uh, motion. And then the same assortment of hands in the darker skin tone. Got a radio slash detonator slash whatever kind of gadget you want it to be. I've noticed they all say 802. Looks nice. The briefcase explosive device. Just a simple blue. A little scuff on the back here. That's not super, but also... Nowhere near any of the issues that I had with poor old Doc. That opens up, and look at that. There is your timer readout, your wires. Very simple, very sunbow, exactly as it should be. And then this that I got so excited about earlier, the Electro Whip. I kind of wish the handle could be separated from it, but the fact that this is actually flexible and not a solid piece of plastic makes me so happy. Uh, I love that because I, I hate it when it's just permanently in, I don't know. I just don't love it permanently in that position. I like this flexible and the detail of it. Look at that. Look at the energy sculpt. The translucent blue looks so good. Uh, and then the handle with the command buttons and the grip. I'm a little concerned about, let's see. Yeah, so these are two separate pieces. I'm a little concerned about this point of connection here being weak. Especially, you know, if you put this on the shelf, with them holding it like this, it's putting stress on this connection point pretty much always. Uh, so I am worried over time on how this is going to hold up. But otherwise, th this is beautiful. This is a fantastic accessory.
Uh, and then we've got the more standard issue Cobra stuff, the Sunbow Blaster that I love, and this metallic color, which, okay, so this gunmetal color is wonderful, but then check out the painted glossy sight. Uh, you've got the hand blaster. Also sunbow accurate. Looks great. I'm a little disappointed there's no holster here, though. What I really would have liked... I, I may not leave these hands like this because it is a little distracting. Uh, I kind of wish they had made these pouches, or one of these pouches, swappable. So you could pop this off and put a holster on there. Uh, because I would like for him to be able to just have that pistol, that bla hand blaster stored. Uh, and then the classic Cobra, uh, what, Dragonoff, right? A little concerned about how the strap is attached on this because, again, oh, sorry, uh, this is a solid plastic and the strap is rubber and it's attached at this very fine point right here. Uh, and then it is kind of glued on in the back here, a little thicker point. But uh, I don't know. You've also got a glossy black on the scope on this one. So looks fantastic. Great sculpt. Uh, right amount of paint because this is a cartoon. But just worried about that strap. But it seems... I mean, it seems pretty solid. It's just going to be in over time and, you know, be careful with it. So let's give this guy, you know what? I'm going to give him this one. Fits in there perfectly, looks great. Uh, and then he is also going to be wielding the Electro Whip. Careful, don't accidentally hit that off button, pal. So there we go. Cobra Trooper. Uh, quite happy with this release. I'm very glad on day two uh, we got one that's a win that is well executed. So there, yeah, I'm going I'm to switch those hands out. That's ridiculous. I mean, it's supposed to be, but whatever. Uh, or I mean, in my head, what, what I was doing with it was supposed to be. He is great. I recommend you buy as many of these as you want. It's an awesome figure. I've seen somebody online that already has like a dozen of them, which is insane to me, but hey, you, you collect how you want to collect. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, tell your friends about needless things. And until next time, go. Smash that like button if you like needless things.